Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about rotation practice for Beethoven's Pathetique Sonata and the Waldstein Sonata. In both pieces there is a section in the first movement where rotation is used in the left hand. So how do we practice this? Starting with the Pathetique Sonata, the left hand is in octave formation but with motion and a rising scale. This is important for one aspect which I will come to in a moment. The first things to have as practice mantras for this section are Drop your thumb. Don't get stuck. Allow the wrist to be soft and calm. Allow your fifth finger to lead the way. Stay close to the surface. Try to minimize lifting or hammering. Never to be done, ever. Now, the last thing to focus on is the use of sevenths. As the scale rises, your hand position moves from an octave to a seventh in between the rising scale. This allows the hand to very slightly open and close. Now to Waldstein. I used to struggle with this left hand pattern so much as a student and I have now discovered these practice mantras which may help you. Use the dropped staccatos at the beginning to soften your hand in preparation. Drop your shoulder. Soften your forearm. Have a cool wrist. Stay close to the surface. Move the wrist, even in a tiny motion, never let it grip or hold. Breathe, not for the music, but for your body, specifically your arm. Lastly, and most importantly, change the fingerings. You do not need to stay in the same hand position and fingering position for all the rotations. Change them up in both hands if you like. Ultimately, loosen your wrists, drop the thumb, and stay close to the surface. You do not need to hammer the keys from above, and in fact, you should eradicate hammering from your technique altogether. I hope this helps you discover how it feels to play these passages, which are difficult, but with a soft physical application, you should be able to move more easily. Try not to push the speed but rather allow the hand and wrist to move freely. Speed will come.